A virus called herpes has baffled scientists for years. Here at the University of Miami Jackson Memorial Medical Center, researchers are working on the herpes mystery under a grant from the National Institutes of Health. There are only two other projects like it in the entire country. Dr. Harvey Blank, chief of the medical center's dermatology department and the first man ever to view the herpes virus under an electron microscope, is heading up the current research. The virus, seen here as the black dots magnified up to 570,000 times, manifests itself above the waist and generally on the face, lips, and mouth in a disease called herpes 1. It is usually associated with fever blisters and cold sores, but has been linked to cancer of those areas. When similar blisters and burning occur below the waist, generally in the area on or around the genitals, the virus that develops is herpes 2, a non-curable venereal disease which Dr. Blank says has already infected 40 to 50 percent of the U.S. population. Researchers know that herpes blisters are worse during a first attack and disappear even without treatment within 10 days. But like any virus, it stays in the body forever, surfacing subsequently in much milder attacks. Venereal herpes 2 is usually not life-threatening. Study has shown it to be contagious during any sexual contact, but only when blisters are present. Dr. Blank's work is vital because herpes can, in rare instances, be more than a patch of painful blisters or black dots under an electron microscope. Without a cesarean section, a baby born to a woman with visible herpes 2 blisters can be infected and stands a chance of suffering permanent brain damage. And Dr. Blank says herpes 2 is now at epidemic levels in the U.S. Well, it's becoming much more common. That is, the disease is more common, and therefore one can expect some of the rare side effects to be more common as well. Not only the uh, hazard to the newborn baby, but also uh, women who have herpes type 2 infections are more likely to get carcinoma of the cervix. And uh, cancer of the cervix, of course, is a very serious problem. Is there a cancer problem with males also? It seems to be less, much less. But it's there. It's a possibility. It's being investigated. It's not proven. Dr. Blank says the rapid spread of herpes VD in recent years may be due to the switch from barrier-type contraceptives to the pill, a theory given by many medical experts to explain the increase in all forms of VD. While the more serious effects of herpes 2 are very rare, Dr. Blank says women who have the disease in active or inactive form should get a pap smear every six months. Bob Mayer, Channel 4 News.